today's video, we have a very special guest at super excited ako to meet her. And maybe you are because you are here in Zoom talaga personally to meet Nina. So Nina is a teacher by profession and a non-uniformed personnel and now she is a social media manager. So sabi niya, freelancing is not for a faint of heart. Oh, diba? Ang ganda na sinabi ni Nin. And it's hard to get started when you aren't sure if you can make a living out of it and to keep going when there are hurdles in your way. But she finally learned the skills that helped her become a freelancer who is now earning a six-figure income. Oh, diba? Yan naman yung gusto nating lahat. So, for us to know what her secret is diba? in working with her dream clients, Sige, hindi na natin patatagalin. Let us all welcome Madam Nina Mi Henon. So, how, why, and when did you start your freelancing journey? Okay, so I started my freelancing journey last year. Uh, 20, 2021, yes, so, 2021, tapos, pero 2020, talagang nag-search na ako, ganun, December 2020, yung first na client ko is, ano siya, SMM yung hanap niya. Lost pa talaga ako, but then, sabi ko, kailangan kong mag-go pa din kahit lost ako, kasi I know along the way, talagang mabibuild ko din kung ano talaga yung niche ko, kasi kung puro ka lang doubts, pastock ka lang doon sa niche, ganun, so dapat, Tuloy-tuloy mo lang kasi along the way, mabibuild mo naman yan. Bakit SMM? Among all other skills that you can offer, why SMM? Lalo na you started as GBA, di ba? Yes, okay. So, bakit ka ba SMM? As I've shared with you guys, yung first client is SMM. So, yan yung naging reason kung bakit mas gusto ko pang siyang tulungan, ganun. So, right after that, talagang ano ko eh, I treat freelancing as a business. Bakit nga ba super important ang mindset sa freelancing? Always sinasabi sa training na mind over body. So, kahit na umaayaw na yung katawan mo, pero yung utak mo, go pa din ng go, kaya mo, as in, kaya mo talaga. So, it's a matter of how you think and how you respond. Kaya napakahalaga. Kaya every time na may course ako, na ini-enroll, sobrang thankful ako kasi yung ibang course talaga is meron silang mindset development or talagang hinahasa talaga yung, yung mindset mo. Kasi we really started from nothing or I mean, wala talaga tayong alam but when you are really willing to learn, kaya talaga promise. The more na may alam ka sa ginagawa mo, kaya mong taasan yung presyo mo. <laughs> Hi guys! Good evening sa inyong lahat. We have three viewers. <clears throat> Narinig niyo ba ako? I hope so. So, um, my name is Coach Isa again. And welcome to Reva's Training and Development Center. Today, we have Wednesday webinar. And the, um, the topic that we are going to discuss today is something that you will see most of the time or almost all the time for every job posting it's a skill that is required for every virtual assistance out there or for aspiring va so if you are one then this is a good topic for you so our topic for today is um calendar management okay again this is a skill na makikita ninyo most of the time required sa mga job posting uh, required so mga VAs, especially if you are, you know, um, and I'll be the supporting an executive um, business owner or CEO. So, bakit nga ba siya required? And is it something that can easily be, or is it accessible? Is it, um, you know, a skill na po pwedeng matutunan ng kahit na sinong tao? So if you're interested in this uh, topic, um, 
thank you for watching and of course if you have if you know friends or family members who might be interested to know this as well try to invite them in our group we will be doing several um webinars like this in the group so this is exclusive for um members of the group lang because it's something that i am discussing in the boot camp right now in the boot camps to come right? so it is one of our bonus course training now what is calendar management naba? okay so calendar manage uh, first of the objective of our discussion for today is to determine what is calendar management what are the benefits of effectively managing a calendar what are the best practices for calendar management and the different tips and tricks on what to do for your uh, calendars and how to manage it okay so calendar management is a systematic process of organizing meetings events and tasks and your ultimate goal always is to maximize the return of investment or the ROI that your clients can get from the precious limited resource that we all call time. So each and every one of us only have 24 hours in a day. And as a virtual assistant or as an assistant of your client, um, you should be able to help them maximize the roi of their everyday life okay so you as a virtual assistant should understand that your real estate professional clients um should only be doing 20 percent of the work and the rest or the 80 percent should be done by you everything that you can do virtually you should be able to help them so managing their social media responding to text and emails and texts, the ba? Calls. So yung mga yan, dapat ikaw na yung gumagawa. The 20% of your clients, especially for real estate professionals, is they should be going out there, meeting potential sellers or buyers, taking them um, into showings, conducting open houses, and getting more leads through those personal or in-person meetings. Okay? And this is one of the most important skills for an executive assistant or a real estate virtual assistant or a general virtual assistant should develop. Okay, so you should be able to determine what what tasks are priority, what tasks what tasks are not, para alam mo kung ano yung mga nakalagay sa uh, calendar lang dapat ni client and ano dapat yung mga tasks na for you as a VA. Okay? Now, uh, what are the benefits of effectively managing a calendar? So number one is organization. You can centrally manage uh, calendars and you can give administrative and executive assistance the control they need to best, to be, to best keep the ship running. So again, um, if your clients don't know what, how to do this, then you can inform them to share their calendars to you so you can have a better idea or bird's eye view as to when should you set up an appointment for them and the clients to meet. Uh, diba? During the during the call, you can easily set up an appointment para maklose mo the deal so they can meet with the client. Kasi if you don't have access to their calendars, kung paano ka makakapag-set up ng appointment? Baka mamaya the appointment or the time that you are giving to um, the potential client is hindi na pala available yung um, real estate professional na sinaserve mo or yung client mo, diba? So whenever we are giving appointments out, we should have a calendar access, diba? Para dun sa mga real estate professionals or yung mga client na sinaserve natin. Okay? So again, if you don't know how to do that, we will look into it later on. But your clients, diba? your PCA, your Paragon client avatars, they should be able to provide you an access to their calendar. So you have an idea kung ano na bang ginagawa nila at that time. Are they busy? Um, they can, can they accommodate um, potential buyers or sellers at that time? Can they accommodate an open house? Can they accommodate an inspection? 
during this time. So you can uh, uh, set this up or set this appointment up for them. Okay. Number two is efficiency. Establishing a systematic process for finding automations and tools that unlock time-saving possibilities. So you can set them up for a Calendly account. It's free or if they want to pay it, that's okay as well. But it is um, a systematic process that you can let them know para hindi na kayo manually na nagbubook ng appointments for them. You can just send their Calendly link to kunwari, um, an inspector or a calendar link to um, another agent for the transaction para sila na yung automatic na magbubook ng 30 minutes, 1 hour, or 15 minutes appointment with your um, client. Tapos automatic na mabablock nun yung mga times nila sa Google Calendar na clients nyo. Diba? So anything that you can do to automate um, your client's life, diba, to make it easier, dapat alam siya ng mga executive virtual assistant like you or real estate virtual assistants like you. Okay? Achievement, prioritize key goals while still covering everything else. So, whenever you are going through the week, ano ba yung priority ni client, you have to be able to remind them, you know, your priority for this week is to go to an inspection on Thursday at 8 a.m. Um, another thing is your open house on Friday at 2 to 4 p.m. Those are your priorities for this week. Everything else, I can manage it. And these are my tasks. I will be able to send it to you on a daily basis through my start of the day and end of the day email. Diba? So at least you have a bird's eye view every week as to what are really the priorities of your client. Diba? On Monday, you should be able to allot one to four hours of your time to call your sphere of influence. And as much as possible, I put it at 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. So make sure you go through the list that I'm going to be sending to you. And um, as much as possible, we can generate leads from your SOI. Diba? So something that you can let them know as well. Collaboration because you can share your calendars to other people as well. And it helps you, uh, it helps executives allocate your time to maintain strong business relationship without missing meetings, double bookings, and or overlooking opportunities. Diba? So kapag naka-block naka na yung time na yon and you share them your, your, uh, your client's calendar link, may iwasan natin yung double booking. Diba? So may know what app or tool did you use for your slides. It's PowerPoint. PowerPoint presentation from um, my VA, Lexi. Diba? And then business insight. Provide a well-documented record of where time went and for what purpose. So at the end of the month, you, you can... Um, confidently say to your client, these are the tasks that I did for you for the entire um, month of May. Diba? Ito yung binayaran mo. These are the tasks that I did for you. You can confidently say that to your client. Kasi hindi, diba, most of the time, you just don't know where that, kung saan napunta yung oras natin. But if you are managing your time correctly or your calendars correctly, then you can confidently say to your client, Ito yung oras na binayaran mo, ba? Dito siya napunta. So, what are the best practices for calendar management? So, number one, you can allocate time just for calendar management. Kailangan um, magsiset aside tayo ng time to really manage your calendar. Sobrang hirap na mag-manage ng calendar and even check kung ano ba yung priority sa hindi. So, you should be able to allocate at least a day to... Just check in and manage your calendars and your clients' calendars as well. You use calendars for more than just meetings and events because, again, you can uh, you can assign tasks to yourself using your calendar and we will be able to see that later on. Design your perfect coding system. For example, you have... Um, what are they called? Mm, mga nicknames na ikaw lang yung nakakaalam, diba? So, other people can't, can't know what you're going to do at that specific moment or time. So, that's based on you. You can personalize your calendar. 
document your exact priorities, the same thing with allocating time. So when you allocate time to um, manage your clients' um, priorities, then you will be able to see ano ba yung mga important na dapat nilang gawin and highlight it on their calendar para alam nila. You can set up multiple time zones. We will show it to you later on. And then you can clarify calendar roles and permission. So, pwede mo i-allow yung iba na mag-modify or if ayaw mo, then you can just keep it to yourself. Okay? So, let's see. Um, let me share my screen. All right. So this is my calendar for the month of May. So you will be able to see here, the blue ones are tasks, um, dark blue are reminders, and um, the pink ones are references uh, my calendar personally, okay? So the green ones are holidays in the Philippines, and then meron kayo makikita na mga blue, those are holidays in the United States. If you have clients in uh, Canada, you can add holidays in Canada as well. So how you can do that is you can go click this other calendars, um, browse calendars of interests, browse all, then you can just find holidays in Canada. There you go, check it. Okay, and then makikita mo na siya dito. So when you go back to your calendar, you'll be able to see some um, holidays in Canada as well. That's in green one naman. Okay, so that's how you can do it. You can set up multiple time zones. As you can see on my calendar, I have four time zones. Originally, this one is Philippine Standard Time. But I know what time is it in Honolulu now or in Hawaii. I know what's th what time is it in Los Angeles now. right now. It's 5.14. And I know what time it is in Chicago and in New York. Diba? So you can do that. Um, I have a task. Good morning to YCP. So I can OK that. And then just create the task first. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know para I can answer them afterwards, okay? So this is how you can see your task for the month of March, month of February, month of January, and all of that, okay? So what else? Um, when you set up an appointment, you can go to today. Kita mo siya dito. You can look it up weekly on a weekly Term. So, ganyan siya. Ang ginagawa mo for that entire week. Or, you can look it up on a day. So, ganito siya. Okay. So, today, May 18. So, I have um, three pending tasks. Okay. Alright. So, paano ba tayo magsiset up ng appointment? So, pag magsiset up tayo ng appointment, you can create a task or create an event, a focus time, an out-of-office reminder, a task, or an appointment schedule. Okay, so for example, I want to create an event on Friday. So on Friday, I have um, an appointment schedule or an event. It's a 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. And that is our... So we can, we can go to course curriculum on our link tree. Go to our website. So we always follow what's in here. Day 10 is going to be the commercial appointment setting training. Actual training day. And then 9 a.m. to 11 a.m., it does not repeat. What else I can do is try to invite guests, diba? So I can go here and look for my guest list. This is my bootcamp 
chaining as this. Pwede kayong um, copy-paste ng email. Delete lang natin. Okay. So, copy-paste ng email. Oops. Go back to your calendar. Yes. So, as you can see, you will be able to invite other people in to attend this event as well. So they will be notified and they will be asked um, if they are um, going or not. So magkakaroon sila ng option to say yes, no, maybe. Yeah, so, ayan. Same thing that you are gonna do, like for example, your client has a bi-weekly meeting with their um, investors or partners or maybe the the agents that they are working with the sellers that they are working with or the boot um would come to like the inspectors and whoever it is that your clients are gonna be meeting for a specific day just have to know the time maybe they are uh going in a specific location you can even attach here parang um a location kung hindi man sila virtual, for example. By the way, Z, if you are watching this, one of my bootcamp students, you cannot add it to the calendar. I'm not sure why. Can you confirm to us your Revis's email? Thank you. So, ayan. Ayan na lang. Erica. Okay. And then, let's check. There, and then you can set up here where where are they going to meet? Are they going to meet via Google? If not, if in person, pwede kayong maglagay ng location dito. So for example, Los Angeles, California, you can do that as well. And then mapupun pag clinic nila to in maps, mapupunta sila dun sa mismong building. Building, excuse me. But since we are gonna go for a virtual meeting, then I don't have to do that anymore. And then here, pwede kayong gumawa na, um, I have an excerpts already for my students. So for example, ito, ayusin na lang siya mamaya. So they have an idea already on, okay, so day 10, it should be day 10. Tomorrow is day 10. Yeah. Yeah, today is day 10. 5 to 20. We have the Trello board access, uh, the Zoom access. And then day 9 for. We don't have to have it. Yeah. And then just click save. And again, you can um, have a, you can have an option to send invitation through emails. If you don't want that, then just click don't send. If you want them to be notified by their email, you just click send. And then since all of them are outside my organization, just have to click invite all this. And then, again, magpunta na siya dito. So. My students will be able to see this and they can have an option to say yes, no, I'm not going to be able to attend, maybe I will attend, etc. So another thing is, for example, at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. today, I have a task. So today at 8.30, I have to, I have, um, Meeting with um, LTC uh, okay, at 9.30. Yeah. 
So makikita niyo mapupunta siya dito. Meeting with LTC. If nagawa mo na siya, you can mark it complete. Diba? Para naka, ano na siya, naka, ang tawag dyan, cross out sa mga tasks niyo for the entire day. If you want to focus, for example, I have a video and I don't want my clients or my VAs na istorbohin ako during this time. So, I will put here, for example, from 12, um, 12 a.m. So, that's gonna be May 19 na, supposedly. May 19 ng 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. Decline, I'm in focus time. Ayan. Automatically decline new and existing meetings during this time. Save and decline. So, makikita ninyo, nandito na siya, focus time. Diba? So, I am gonna be filming videos at this time. I am on focus time. So, whoever it is that's gonna invite me during this time, they won't be able to do so automatically na magde-decline yung aking, um, ang tawag dito? yung aking calendar sa kanila. I wish I have more time to watch but I have work to attend. Just want to let you know that this is very helpful and informative, especially like me that have no idea at all. So, it's good because you will be able to see this pa rin, guys. mag remain naman siya dito sa group. So, pwede ninyong balikan. Will this presentation be available in your page? I'd like to go back. Yes. So, this video will be available on our Facebook uh, group. So, pwede nyo siyang balikan. Okay? So, that's that. Um, again, you can create different types of event using your calendars. Now, another thing that I'm gonna share is, let's go back. So, for example, this is my other calendar and it's from a different email. And for example, I want to subscribe to uh, kunwari, itong calendar ko na to si client, itong calendar ko na to si VA. So, I want to see or I want to have access to my client's calendar. So, paano ko siya gagawin is from your cal client's calendar, you can go to settings, add calendar, subscribe to calendar. Balik that. Dito pala dapat. So, dapat dito ka as a VA. Tapos, add a calendar. Subscribe to a calendar. Hanapin mo yung email ni client. So, that's my email. And then, makikita nyo na when you go back, makikita nyo na nandiyan na yung mga um, information ni client. So, when you are setting up an appointment for your uh, client at that time, you will know na, uy, hindi pwede ng 9, um, 9, PM, uh, 9 a.m. to 11 si Isa because she is busy. Hindi siya pwede ng 9.30 to 10.30. Hindi siya pwede ng 11 a.m. to 12 a.m. So, I will not set up an appointment for her at this time. Kasi hindi niya din naman mag-meet yung mga client na isa-set up ko ng appointment sa kanya. Diba? If wala na yung client na yan and you want to unsubscribe to them, click X. Or if you don't want to see, just don't want to see their calendars on your end, tanggalin mo lang yung check. Okay. So, that's easy. Ano pa? Um, you go here. Uh, you can add time zone dito. So, world clock. Gusto mo pang mag-add ng time zone for example, Calif uh, ano naman, Canada naman, hanapin mo lang yung time zone. Okay. So, makadepende sa'yo kung anong time zone yung gusto mong hanapin. But since I have all my time zones ready naman, ano dyan lang siya. Okay, ano pa ba? I think that's it. So, so pwede kayong mag-create ng Calendly link as well for your clients. Madami namang YouTube videos, guys, on how to create a Calendly link. But just for example, I have a Calendly link for Revasist already. So, 
on my students. Sige, tingnan natin. Talag na sila. So, um, on their third week, ayan, for their day 15 to day 18, they will have their mock interview training with me. So, instead of me manually putting them into my calendar, I created a, clock, um, a calendar link, a 30-minute one-on-one mock interview. So, I can just easily share them the link. When they got it, pwede silang magpunta doon and they can book a time po kailan sila free. Aside from that, they will have an information as to what they should prepare for our mock interview. They can fill out this form, di ba? As to uh, the same thing na ginagawa ninyo when you are applying. Again, it's a mock interview training. So they should be doing this as well. And they can see here some of the information that they need to prepare as well for our training. So on the 23rd, I have an availability at 7 to 10 p.m. only. So pwede silang mag-book only during these hours. So you can do this as well for your client. So hindi mo na kailangan na manually isa-isahin yung kanilang calendar. Alam na nila agad-agad kung... Uh, kailan lang na available na pwedeng i-meet yung mga clients in. Okay? Nangangarag na yung boses ko. Do you have any questions, guys? May mga questions ba kayo? Ayan. So, um, I think that's it for today's video and I hope na may natutunan kayo sa lesson na to and I hope it helped you in any way. Again, that's calendar management. You can even explore your calendar um, calendar settings sa mga Google Calendar ninyo and explore your Outlook calendar if you have Outlook accounts para lang you have an idea and alam niyo most of the time, Clients, they don't even know how to manage their calendar. So if you, as a virtual assistant, know a thing or two about it, then you will be able to help them in a lot of ways. But you can imagine. Minsan hindi lang natin alam, makala natin maliit na bagay yon. But for um, executives like them, it is very, very helpful. So that's it, guys. And again, I want to invite you if you want to join our batch 6 bootcamp training program. Isa to sa mga lesson na kanilang um, natututunan sa ating bootcamp. It is open and it, the tentative start date is on uh, June 12, 2022. So um, you can check out our course curriculum here. Um, it is for 1999 only. And we can only accommodate 50 students per batch. So you will have 20 days of live training with me. And of course, makikita nyo naman dito sa Facebook group yung mga tasks na ginagawa nila, homeworks na ginagawa nila for the entire day. Pwede kayong mag-scroll down dito sa Facebook uh, group natin na to and makikita ninyo na talagang jump pack yung ating course. Day 8 pa lang kami pero nangangarag na sila sa homework because you will be able to experience it in real time, di ba, kung ano ba yung mga tasks na ginagawa ng mga real estate virtual assistants. When will you have another presentation? Um, our presentation po is every Wednesday. Last Wednesday lang ako na wala kasi um, bakit na ba wala last Wednesday? Hindi ko na din matandaan. Pero, um, ay, ah, alam ko na. Last Wednesday, nag-live ako sa YouTube ka, so hindi pala naririnig, kaya ayun, uh, hindi, hindi ako nakapag-live last Wednesday. Is it free? Actually, it's paid po. It's 1999 It includes a certificate, so nandito na yung inclusion. Uh, makikita nyo dito every Monday to Friday yan, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, you will have free use of our Reva CRMs for 20 days, mock interview training, group coaching, student success partner, certificate of completion, even provide certificate of excellence, letter of recommendation, and resume cover letter and portfolio creation. So that's only for 1999 but we can also have um, installment payment. So if hindi talaga kaya ma-push yung 1999, we totally understand. 
you can start your training for uh, 10 days muna, di ba? Unahin ninyo yung 10 days for only 999.50. And then, if hindi kayo na-satisfy, pwede nyo nang hindi ituloy for um, days 11 to 20. Pero kung na-satisfy kayo, gusto nyo pa ituloy, then diba, continue lang ng payment before the 11th day. You can even earn through referral. So kung gusto ninyo mag-refer ng friend, every friend successfully na magpipay, um, you can earn 500 pesos. So just put here the referral name and email or phone number para makontakt namin si referral. Okay, may mga questions po ba tayo? How many hours per day? It's two. Two hours per day po siya. So that's 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. po. Mondays through Fridays for 20 days. It's a live training with you. You're welcome, Eureka. All right. Any questions, guys? So next um next Wednesday, mag mag ano ulit si An. Magpapa poll siya. Every Monday we are releasing polls. Diba, na sasagutan ninyo kung ano ba yung gusto ninyo na i-discuss ko ng Wednesday. So, sagot kayo doon. Make sure na mag, um, tawag dito, magsagot kayo sa poll na yon para alam natin by Wednesday ano ba yung i-discuss natin. Alright, so thank you so much everybody and um, have a great day. I'll see you again on our next Wednesday webinar. Bye-bye! Thank you!